Hey guys, JMM Review here and welcome back to the Incubation playthrough. Uh, this is my third attempt at this, um, the fort is in range. this alternate path and uh, well, let's just say uh, these mines have uh, caught me out a couple of times. Um, I don't know, I just keep uh, kind of paying no attention to them and hoping this, uh, the scare won't step on them, they keep stepping on them beside my man and killing me. But, um, yeah, I just want everyone to know that I, I do plan on finishing this playthrough, even if you don't see a, an upload for a couple of weeks. Um, I, I definitely plan on continuing this and hopefully finishing it because uh, Incubation is a game I really like and uh, I have done for a long time, so I do plan on finishing this playthrough. And I'll just have a quick look around this layer I'll show you all about. This is the alternate path from the last one that had all the mines this time. Uh, we're going into like an army base and you can really tell that from the these uh, turrets. And these one, this one here looks like it's just been kind of copied and pasted straight out of Star Wars, uh, the Hoth planet. But it still looks really great and um, kind of blends in with the, the wall behind it and stuff. Um, obviously these are, you know, you can't operate these so these are really just there to for show. Um, and also this one here is the like an artillery gun. Uh, but I don't really know how anyone could actually operate this even if it was operational because there's a, a kind of a gap there but that just kind of makes it that little bit more intriguing like you know you're kind of wondering how did anyone actually use this um, maybe they have to use like a jetpack to get into it and the idea was that none of the Skedar no Skedar, damn I'm playing too much Perfect Dark uh, none of the Skegar could actually get in there because that makes sense you know because there's no way to, them to get over there but um, Anyway, I just make little things up like that. Uh, anyone uh, working on the Project Rutherford um, game should maybe uh, consider putting something like that in that game. Uh, I know that it might be hard to to design, and it might be hard to um, it might take up a lot of um, points or whatever. I'm not sure how it works when you're putting stuff in a game, but Let's see if I can, yeah. Uh, that's him taking care of. Then we buggers kept um, kind of sneaking up on me and setting mines off on me. So I need to be careful about that. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know much about designing the game, but I can't imagine uh, putting things like that in. Uh, it would be hard to program because they're it's unoperational, so. I don't know, it's worth a shot anyway. Just an idea. Let's just destroy some of these mines because I was a little too lenient on earlier playthroughs and because I played this is my third time trying this one and I kept leaving mines uh, open for the Skedar to stand on. Skegar to stand on. Only a matter of time before I got the perfect dark Skedar and the Incubation Skager uh, confused, so apologize about that. I'm gonna need, I'll leave two people on defense here. Oh, that was a. No, oh, never mind. As long as I stay away, like one step away from each mine, I should be fine. Oh, they spawned back in there. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a spawn point. I haven't got this for yet. So they're basically just spawning from each side of the road here, which is kind of cool. idea of um, lone Skager just wandering these really long highways. It's quite terrifying to be honest. Always ready, sir. Where's the action? Nice place you get. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ready and willing. Okay. 
Kind of bad defense here. It's kind of blocked off that area, so none of them will be able to get through. Oh, here we go. I'm glad I had them on defense. <laughs> uh, advanced combat gun's terrible. Or, I think it. Oh, light combat gun, sorry. The uh, heavy machine gun is really hit and miss. It's just something I don't like about it. Ah, okay. oh, that light gun is so bad. Right. Yes. I thought this easy. Uh, I thought this level would be a lot easier than it is, but um, it actually seems quite challenging. I think it's just getting in this doorway. Seems to be a lot of Skager on the other side of it. Right. Um, he's pretty useless, so I'll just use him to clear some of these mines. He's actually got a shot on that um, squeegee. Someone's going to take damage here. Think. Yeah. Okay, sir. You did destroy it, sir. Right away, sir. Let's take the ammo here and let us spare my life. So I need to get Harvey um, as close to these fence and get them closed off before we just get over around by um, Skager. <laughs> See all the pixels of blood. That, that green line hasn't moved, so I'm guessing that's a, a Wraither. Okay. Yes. I don't want to be in the line of fire of that possible. Squeegoo, so I'll walk here. Roger, sir. What's happening, sir? Really, sir? Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're really making them move over. Oh, this is gonna be tight. Harvey's in a bit of a pickle here. I think the best thing to do would be just to get Harvey out of the way. I'll put a safe state here. Remain position just.
No, that's not what you want at all. So I was asked to the rescue. Really? Um, sure. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh, that could have went a lot worse there, but that, that was pretty tense. I thought this level would be easier because it's smaller, but actually it's just the... everything's just so much more uh, compact in a way. And being compact in incubation is not necessarily a good thing. You actually want a, a bit of room to move about in a game like Incubation. Whenever everything's compact, um, you'll actually find that it's a lot harder for you to, to actually uh, plan a strategy because there's less places for you to go. I was going to give ammo to a uh, lesbian assassin because he's completely out. But I don't actually think I will because everyone else is so low on ammo. Let's see what we have here. I'm in my position because I don't want to give Harvey any skill points because I'm still not too sure. I don't think he actually stays on with us. I'll give it to Brat then. The ammo box. This green line here still hasn't. Oh, it just did move. Hmm. I've got a funny feeling there'll be another squeaky in this level. Fought this assassin back because he's not much use to me. What's up? Oh, you miss with that gun. That gun is so unpredictable. Still unsure whether to give it to Brat or to okay. I think I'll give my ammo to the sniper actually because uh, Paul because he'll get fifteen bullets whereas Brat will only get ten so This is a badass, he never seems to be in panic. In position, sir. Okay. I can't believe how low I am in ammo in this level. Ready. I remember having Always this ready, problem sir. in the last one. Yes. Ready and willing. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my ammo for Paul now, so I need to get him back in the battle now. Really. Right. 
you can do but the ones coming in off the road because it's not like you can plug a hole or anything. Yes. Yeah. Ah shit. Fucking hell. This is actually a really tough level. It's undoable or anything, they just think it's ridiculously hard. I think I'm just going to take my men straight up the road. Because once you go like split your men up, that's never. Um, you want to get some casualties. Machine gun can take a couple of these guys out. Oh shit, I didn't mean to move him up. Made a bit of a mistake there, I shouldn't have let Paul um, move him forward, I should have been moving him back to the uh, ammo. There's no one in there so I'm going to try and get in around there and quickly plug that. machine gun to help out there. Okay. Just enough news. Of ammo. I'm just going to get close enough to use the, the bayonet. Right, I think that's most of them taken care of, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's another Gorther in the, or um, Squiggy in this level. This might be him there. level a little hard, harder than I thought it was going to be but that's just really what happens in incubation the, there's, there's always a few surprises that you don't really expect and that's really what makes it hard Oh 
I really hurt. Oh, there's been a sauce in there. Thank God for the range of the sniper rifle. At least even though Brad's out of ammo, he can still use his bayonet. Just make my way over to the last. Where did he come from? I think that's everyone dead in the level, but. Not to say they won't respawn, my goodness, they really have here. Some sniper ammo left. Let's go. Let's go. I just keep spawning okay, in this corner sir. here. Enemy yeah. I'm scared to lose this level, um, so I'm just going to finish it before anything bad happens. I don't have got Oh, I must have rested him. Oh, I nearly killed Harvey! Wow! I hope this is mission over. Thank God for that. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll end this with the, the next video in front of the fort. Received a message from the captain saying there's a combat up north. I'd like to shake the hand of the chicken shit that abandoned it. After Harvey gets his work done, we'll try to reach it and put it to good use. I'm hoping this last writer will just sort of step on the mine. Oh shit. But, you know, all in all, this looks like a much easier um, level, but maybe looks can be deceiving. Um, and I just, let's see, hold on, let's see where these wraiths are going to. Oh, that was close. Wow.